and today I thought I'd be sharing some things that I bought during quarantine with you because there's like this TikTok genre, genre? I don't know, uh, that's like the da da things you can find in there <laughs> that just make sense. I, I like those videos even though they're usually really extra and extravagant and not my thing and definitely encouraging consumerism. I hope this is not that. I am trying for this to not be that. I bought things during quarantine and some of these things I don't think I would have bought if it was not for COVID. So I think that they might be interesting to share with you and they for the most part improved my life. So we all need some of that, right? Um, I would like to pop in with a little bit of a disclaimer. So I don't necessarily want to encourage people to buy things because I do think consumerism is a rather big problem. I am a rather firm believer of reduce, reuse, recycle. And I also apply like the two week rule or something in bigger investments I make where basically if I want to get something, I'll need to think about it for until uh, like for two weeks or longer sometimes even. Uh, because I love overthinking, but also because I think that if you still really, really want it after that time and you feel like you're missing out on something by not having it, then it's worth buying. So, yeah. Um, also, if you ignore the disclaimer and you want to come for me for bad things, listen to the disclaimer first, please. But yeah, uh, these are how many things again? I wrote it on the list somewhere and then I lost that list. Oh no. I did it! My list. So yeah, here's my 11 things I bought in quarantine that just makes sense. So, one of the first things I bought, maybe even a bit before quarantine, is what well, number one, and it's Animal Crossing for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, like a lot of people that enjoy gaming, uh, I was on, I bought it on the release day. I actually pre-ordered it so I could immediately download it when it came out and then in the beginning of quarantine I was working on my bachelor's thesis and some courses still but most of it was just spent at home um, and then playing Animal Crossing allowed me to play with my friends which was really nice and made me feel a lot less lonely and I think even now a year after it's a really fun game and it can kind of feel like home and you meet people or like villagers and I think that can be really nice to feel just that little bit less lonely. Okay, so number two on my list of things that I bought is, wait, where is it? Okay, is an analog camera. Uh, I bought this somewhere last summer when I went on a bike trip by myself. I biked 40 kilometers, uh, all like 22 and 20 back to this other town that I'd never visited before when things were pretty all right COVID wise. And I bought this analog camera because I thought even if this is a year that not a lot will happen, it is a year to make memories from and to still maybe be able to look back at it fondly. I thought having analog pictures of it would really help. Um, my grandparents would sometimes give to my sister and me analog cameras when we were little kids and we were going on a skiing trip. And I still love looking back at those photos. So just kind of <laughs> marking Corona as a bad trip and having pictures of it. Uh, I actually still have four pictures left at this point. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, like I, I was at some point I took a picture every day, which lasted for like a week. So there's still some to fill and I'm really excited to get it developed because I forgot about a lot of pictures I took. And I think after this one, I'll get a reusable uh, analog camera of sorts because I love analog pictures. Um, number three on my list of things that I bought in quarantine that just makes sense is art supplies. I already had a lot of art supplies and now I think I own all the art supplies known to mankind. This is not true. I, I don't do pottery yet, but that's just because I can't have a kiln, I think. Um, the first art supply I bought in quarantine, I have here. It's oil paints by Van Gogh and I really like them. I've made a few paintings with them. However, I do find them a bit daunting to use because it's like oil paints and it's death and <sighs> it feels a bit presumptuous to think that I'm allowed to paint with oil paint because they're like done by the masters. I don't know. It's imposter syndrome inducing. 
Um, I also bought some art supplies to make stamps with, and I used to not have any gouache here. And now I do have all of those things, and honestly, they've been really helpful in calming me down to work with, and I would have eventually also gotten around to buying these things. Uh, on number four of my list, I have envelopes and stamps, because... I'm not allowed to visit anyone anymore, and I already had a slight obsession with making cards for people. Uh, I just usually give them to them, however, that's not always possible uh, in this time. So I got a lot of envelopes and stamps, and I have been sending people cards uh, for birthdays, just to say hi sometimes, to tell them I miss them, and to people that may have gotten corona, that actually got the virus, uh, to let them know I'm thinking about them. Number five is, again, something I would have bought anyways, but it's been especially helpful in these times, is noise-canceling headphones. So I am a student, I live in some kind of student housing, and I do not love my housemates. And now that I'm at home all the time, I can get really, 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 really frustrated with their existence. Um, and then wearing noise-canceling headphones that actually work really well has been a lifesaver. I can basically not hear the laundry machine I live next to, I cannot hear the housemaid that I'd rather not hear, and that's great! I have the GBL Life... I have the GBL Life 6 or 5, and I think they're great. I love them. I also used to think that white headphones were horrible and that they'd look bad on me. However, I think they look great. I mean, you may have seen them around because I sometimes wear them in outfit videos because I just wear them and then... They're part of what I'm wearing, I suppose. But they're so nice, they're over ear they're noise-canceling, and they are stunning. Uh, they are definitely not cheap, but that's also because I just wanted good ones that would last me a very, very long time. If the light changed and you're bothered by that, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Um, I'm sorry if the light changed. Time happened? Clouds happened? I don't know. So, number six, six, number six on my list is a good hand cream because when you have to disinfect your hands everywhere you go is really it's really crusty at some point my hands got really crusty and painful but I think they're fine now you know like a cheeky little um yeah I think they're fine now which is nice which I greatly appreciate and it's all thanks to oh keys get yours now for honestly not that cheap um, the reason I really like this one in particular is because it doesn't leave your hands feeling greasy and I don't have time to waste and if my hands feel greasy for an hour, I am incredibly annoyed. Um, I, I honestly, I just thought that these people sounded like they knew what they were talking about and then I looked them up and then the internet said they knew what they were talking about, so I want this one. Uh, I quite like it. So number seven of things I got is sporting gear uh, of sports I can do by myself. I got new running shoes, got a yoga mat, um, I also got a whole new running outfit but that was just my birthday present. Um, and yeah, because I have a slight sports addiction and uh, COVID's not allowing me to do two of the ones I quite like at the moment. And yeah, I guess I just run a bit more now, which has been fine and nice. Number eight on the things that I got that make sense is my couch. I got a couch during quarantine because I have a high bed, an upsies bed, uh, which is pretty cool for spaciousness on the floor. However, I kind of hate it and uh, because I used to just read in bed, have dinner in bed if I wanted to lay down because I didn't, I used to not have a couch in my previous places. Um, I can't do that here because if I sit up in my bed, I scrape my head on the popcorn ceiling. So I got a couch, I got it for, at a thrift store. My friend and I moved it for like, uh, I think we walked with this couch for 700 meters or something. Took breaks sitting on the couch. That's really convenient about moving a couch, but uh, that was something. But I have a couch and I think it's honestly great if you otherwise um, don't. Uh, so one of the reasons I needed to get a couch, my uh, opinion, was because I used to not have enough like designated spaces for things and I am having a really hard time to relax in COVID times because my room is now also mostly my working place 
compared to it previously more being my chilling place and being at home and place where I can actually cook and have a good time, you know? So now it's mostly that and now I have a couch where I can just hang out if I want to have a more chill time and mentally kind of psychology the heck out of myself and thinking I'm allowed to have a break. Number nine is not as much of a big buy, but it's something that I've been doing rather recently and it's been pretty fun, is buying weird, different things I've never had before groceries. Um, I don't know if you've seen any of the memes, I'll, if there are any, I'll put them places, but there's like memes of like, ah, my zookeepers aren't keeping, uh, aren't, aren't taking care of me well, I need more, uh, what is it called? Well, basically, I kind of realized how I was in a bit of a slum with what I was eating and just, you know, bored with it all because I wasn't doing, like, I'm not doing anything exciting. So I just started doing tiny things like getting a juice I've never had before or getting a pomelo, you know? Uh, <laughs> it's weirdly exciting. And then you're just like, you find this new thing that you actually really like. You're like, oh my God. And then that's, that's the new exciting, I guess. Ooh, also a grocery store of mine. So my grocery stores are rather specifically just for groceries and like like Hypermarché in France and what Walmart appears to be considering they have guns. Um, and one of my grocery stores that I go to, I have like four, uh, has an aisle dedicated to like a store with, with cute things with like notebooks, cutlery, candles and and the first time i went there i cried because i was so excited that i could shop anything that was not groceries i'm fine surviving not thriving yeah and last but not least on my list is blue light glasses so uh i think i spend even more time behind my laptop or on my laptop neither of those makes sense using my laptop and phone, having that social media addiction going strongly for me. So I got some blue light glasses. Uh, they're a bit weird to get used to. They, like everything is more yellow or, you know, less blue. Um, so it's a bit weird. I think they're pretty cute too. But uh, yeah, I think I have, these are, these are honestly very recently that I got them. I quite like them. I think they help. Um, if you don't want to get these, uh, you can also just change the settings of your devices to show less blue. However, for me, I do actually sometimes like it when there's more blue because for some visual things, it's just nicer to see all the colors properly. Um, but then sometimes you also get a headache because of the blue light. And then you have these and uh, I've been quite I've been quite happy with them. Uh, and with that, I think I can conclude my list of 10 things. Uh, there's no particular order to these, but you know, I just wanted to get them out there. And yeah, I hope that they can help you feel like thriving a bit more instead of just surviving. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything you hadn't considered getting, but you might consider now. That sounds again like I'm promoting capitalism. Ah, uh, ow. Um, <laughs> but I hope that this was entertaining or informative or any of the positive things, any of them. Uh, go on, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Why am I? Why? Why is life so hard? Why am I excusing everything I say?